Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we made it so that we could add a recipe to our application. Now what we want to do is give functionality to the delete button. All right, now to make a delete request, we're going to use Ajax and jQuery. So first thing I'm going to do is inside index.dust, we're going to go to uh, where we have the delete button, which is up here, right here. All right, now make sure that you have a class of delete recipe. And we also need to pass along the ID so that we know which one needs to be deleted. To do that, we're going to use a data attribute. All right, so let's add to this and we're going to say data ID is going to be equal to ID. Okay, just like that. And then we'll save it. And we'll need to create a JavaScript file in public JS. Okay, I'm going to save it as main.js. And we need to use jQuery. So we're going to say document.ready. And here we want a function. Okay, so we want this function to run when the document's ready. So we want to grab the button with the class of delete recipe. So let's say dot delete recipe and then we're going to say dot on okay so the events going to be click so on click we want to run a function and first thing we'll do is get the ID from that data attribute we created and we can get that using this dot data and then ID all right, now for the URL, I'm actually going to put that in a variable. So we'll say var URL is going to be equal to slash delete slash, and then we want to concatenate on the ID. Okay, so now before we actually make the Ajax request, I just want to do a confirmation. Since it's a uh, delete, you should have some kind of um, warning. So we're going to say if confirm and we just want this to say delete recipe okay if they confirm then we're gonna make our Ajax so we'll say dot Ajax and in here we'll put some curly braces we want the URL we want the type of request which is gonna be a delete And then our success function. Okay, that's going to take in result. And let's just do a console.log. We'll say deleting recipe. And then we'll just uh, redirect. We'll say window dot location dot href equals and we'll just have that go to slash okay and then if it's an error okay we'll pass in error and we'll just console log it okay so let's save that now that's going to make the request. Now we have to go to app.js and handle the request. So we'll say app.delete. And that's going to go to slash delete slash colon ID. And we'll have our function. Okay. And what I'll do is grab this same thing this connect paste that in and we want a delete query so right here let's just get rid of everything that's in here okay and then we'll also delete this so query is going to be delete from recipes where the ID is equal to dollar sign one and then we'll replace that with rec dot params dot ID so that's gonna get the ID from the URL 
and then just done. And then instead of redirecting, we just want to send a response. So we'll send a 200 response, which means everything is OK. So let's save that and let's restart this. OK, and then reload. Let's add one just to be deleted. OK, if we go here and then click that. All right, so nothing's happening if I reload. OK, it's still there. So let's see if there's anything in the console. No, we're not getting anything. OK, so let's go. Did I save everything? So it's the button has a class of delete recipe. Oh, we didn't include main JS in the main view. So let's do that. We'll go to our layout. Let's copy that. And just change that to main. OK. All right, so now say delete. OK, it's confirming. OK, and now it's gone. OK, so we can now delete recipes. So in the next video, the last video, I'll show you how we can edit recipes.